In this video, we're going to talk about writing tests for PEST. If you've done any test writing in Laravel in the past or any tests more broadly in PHP applications, you'd be familiar with placing them into directories within a test directory, either unit or feature, and then having your individual test files within those namespaces suffixed with test.php. Nothing changes in this scenario if we're going to start using PEST. To make things simple, we're going to open up our existing tests and we're going to convert them from the normal PHP unit syntax to PEST syntax. And you're gonna see just how much more readable and concise they actually end up being. So if we have a look at the example tests that ship with the Laravel framework out of the box, you can see they're actually quite verbose. There's a lot of extra things going on in here that we don't need in the context of PEST. For example, we don't need to include a namespace. In this test, we're not using the database, so we can get rid of that. And we don't even need to extend from PHP units base test case. It's looking a lot cleaner already, but we can keep going. This class, don't need it. And you can see that the test gets so, so simple now. In fact, we don't even need this public function declaration. Let's change this to our new pest syntax. It tests the home page loads. And then we return a closure. Response, this get slash, which is our homepage, and response, assert status 200. Close our closure, and there we go. Now, obviously, this isn't going to run without deleting the legacy stuff. And there you have it. It tests the homepage loads. So what do we do? We run our tests again. Vendor bin pest. And what do you know? Our feature test, it tests the homepage loads, still passes. Why don't we now tackle looking at a unit test? Same sort of thing. We don't need any of this stuff at all. It does a basic test. Pass it our closure. This assert true. True, done, beautiful, close that, get rid of all of this stuff. So you can see by switching over to PEST, we're able to reduce so much of that boilerplate. No need for namespaces, no need to import all of those classes into our tests that we're not using. No need to even define a class to run our tests. All we're doing is we have a basic test with the closure that performs some assertions. And because we're using the it helper method to do this, we don't even have to have tests with all of those underscores that are separating all of the tests. We can just pass a string in there and away you go. 